This video will explain how to use the summation symbol in statistics easily. Let's do this by using this simple example. We read this as summation of i equals 1 to 4 of x sub i, or summation of x sub i as i goes from 1 to 4. Now let's break this down to its simplest form. First is the summation symbol. It is the capital form of the Greek letter sigma. It means addition or summation. And this is usually used with an index at its bottom. This index is usually denoted as lowercase i. And this index is usually equated with a starting value, and in this case is 1. But this can also be any number, even 0. And above the summation symbol is usually another number. And that's going to be where we want to end our summation. And in this our example, it is 4. But this could be any number or even a symbol like n. And then finally, we have the element. And this element is usually based on the index that we are moving through. In this case, it is a variable x. And we want its values to move through the index. And in this case, it is written as a sub of the index values. But this could also be a number or another variable that we want to sequence through the index values. So we'll read this whole thing as the summation of x sub i as i goes from 1 to 4. Or like I said in the beginning, we could also read this as the summation from i equals 1 to 4 of x sub i. This simply means we should sum all the values of x when the index value goes from 1 sequentially to 4. So in this our example, let's start with a situation where i equals to 1. So we'll have x sub 1. Plus when i equals to 2, we would have x sub 2, so we would have plus x sub 3, and then plus x sub 4. At this point, we have reached our ending point as 4. So we had a starting point as 1 and our ending point as 4. And so we'll stop here. Easy peasy. Let's look at another example, but this time with actual data. Here we have the age of 5 individuals. So our variable here is age. So our x is age. And each value of age is sequentially arranged as x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5. So the summation of i equals 1 to 4 of x sub i will simply be x sub 1, which is 2, plus x sub 2, which is 5, plus uh, 9, plus 6, and this will give us 22. Awesome. Let's try another example. The summation from i equals 1 to 3 of x sub i for this same data will be x sub 1, that's 2, plus x sub 2, that's 5, plus x sub 3, that's 9. And so 2 plus 5 plus 9 is 16. Nice. Now one last example. Summation from i equals 2 to 4 of x sub i. This will be 5 plus 9 plus 6 equals 20. Now let's see you try this example. What is the summation from i equals 3 to 5 of x sub i of this same data set? Please put your answers in the comment section and let me know which country you are commenting from. And don't forget to like share and subscribe to get more interesting statistical stuff. Hey, if you are interested in learning more about common statistical symbols, then check out these two awesome videos. And as always, thanks for watching.